All right, we're moving along to pin setter number three. This one, the note on the board says that the machine is stuck in second ball. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on, cycle it, and see what happens. Well, there was first ball. Second ball. Cycle again. First ball. And second ball. Not seeing anything yet. Interesting. Clutch is stopping a little high. I wonder if it coasted over. We'll have to get the gearbox clutch warmed up to find out. Yeah, that's stopping really high. Yeah, that's too high. Let's go ahead and do a gearbox clutch adjustment. So let's take a closer look at this. So on our gearbox clutch, this gap is absolutely ginormous. Um, it makes me think that the bottom adjuster bolt is, uh, well, adjuster bolt in there is missing a nut on the bottom side and it's unthreaded itself. When that happens, the gap on the cone becomes smaller. We have almost no gap on that cone. So we're going to thread our adjuster screw in to close that gap and increase the gap between the pulley where the belt rides and the clutch cone. Yeah, this is, uh, it's got an oil leak for sure. Um, there is a nut and a spacer back in here um, which is strange because um, usually when you see this that hardware is falling off so what we're going to do in this case we're going to well so here's the other thing these gearbox clutches don't get serviced um, there's a good chance that the clutch material on these discs has worn away substantially over the years. I'm just going to thread this nut in. We're going to pull this yoke and the main drive disc further away from the cone. Got a big gap in there now. You guys are just just out of sight. Let me pitch this up. Pretty substantial gap there now. That's going to cause the gearbox to stop earlier in its cycle. We'll need to jump back up top and cycle it few through a uh, through a few times and see if that's going to um, stop closer to book spec. Adjuster screw on the bottom of the yoke where we want it. 
we're going to go ahead and tighten the jam nut for that. I'm just going to hold the socket wrench there. Actually, this might be easier. Hold on a sec. Let me grab a speed wrench. Yeah. All right. Coming back in. Tighten that nut down. The speed wrench. Wow. There we go. Now we're tightening. Okay. That's tight. What we're going to do next is we're going to readjust the nuts on the clutch cone. So let me hop back up. We're stopping early. So we need, in this case, to uh, decrease our gap between the flange on the nut. Oh my god. And the cone. Well, at least the hardware was tight. So this gap is too much. Threads are boogered. Nobody's been in this gearbox clutch for years. Let's try that. You guys stay there. I'm gonna turn it on and cycle it up here. Perfect. Perfect. That's perfect. The clutch stopped the machine exactly with that rod. Parallel. So you guys can see. Right there. Right in the middle. Perfect book spec. We got the uh, clutch cone jam nuts tightened back down. We're going to cycle it a couple times and just verify. Looks good. That looks good. All right, let's move on to the next thing.